Yes, good evening guys to all of you. I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Baiju's exam prep. Yes, just wait. Fine, so I feel audio video is clear. We are starting the session. Yes, Teju, Utkarsh, uh, Kalyan, Rishabh. We are about to start guys. So guys, in today's session, we are going to see some wonderful question of strength of material. As you already know, in this 500 plus question series, we are going to deal with 15 questions live and 15 questions as homework for uh, every day session. And this is the first subject going on and today is the second session of SOM. First session is already over yesterday. So guys, uh, we will be starting this. This is some detail about me. Those who are watching me for the first time, my name is Dheera Sardana. I am having 10 plus years of experience and today's subject is strength of materials. So guys, before we move further, I would like to tell you some very important point. Yes, Pudina, Tamatar, Nilesh, Kalyan, uh, Deepak, definitely Deepak, we are already, we are already planning this uh, Sunday. This Sunday you are going to have one. Kenil, good evening dear. Okay. So guys, uh, there is a mega workshop on seven key career prospects through gate 24. If anyone is looking for gate 2024, for those student Rakesh Talreja sir would be taking a workshop at 12.30 p.m. on 18th of December. So anybody, if he want to attend that, you can definitely register for the workshop. Okay. So moving further guys. On Sunday, on this Sunday, we are going to have one session like many students may be uh, getting demotivated and they may be thinking of leaving gate 23 preparation and may be looking for 24 preparation. So to start with 24. So guys, if you are looking for that, for that there is a session I would be taking on Sunday. So be live there and that session would be there at 10 p.m. So be live to know what you shall do right now. Yes, Imtiaz Khan, good evening, Irfan, good evening, Malesh, good evening, Vishal, Sharma, good evening. So, we are moving further, guys. Okay. So, guys, if you want to download the free ebook for gate preparation, if you are looking for a workshop, if you are looking for scholarship test to get up to 90% scholarship, you can register all for, for all of these by going to the description of this session. So guys, now without wasting your time, we are starting the session with the first question of today's session. Number is 31 because 30 questions are already done for you in the last class plus your homework. Yes, Imtiaz, Malesh, Irfan, Malesh, Vishal, Kenil, Deepak, Pudina, Tamata, Utkar, Steju. This is the very first question in front of you. So guys, this is from strain energy and it is using for the taper bar. A circular taper bar, A, tapers from 2D to D over an axial length of L. So he is talking about a taper bar like this. Okay. And at the same time, they are also having an a prismatic bar. Here the diameter is D, here the diameter is 2D and this prismatic bar is of 1.5D. This bar is A, this bar is B. They are asking for a strain energy ratio of UA by UB. I would be helping you by writing strain energy to be half into P into delta. Rest you have to perform now. Hint is there on the board. Some student may be having complaints sir, why you are giving the hint. Hint I am giving for those who are not aware of the concept properly. For their help I am already showing some hint so that they can also try this. Kiran, very good evening. So you answered first, then wishing. Great. Rishabh Pant, very good. So today Rishabh Pant also was in form. So here also our Rishabh is in form. So Kiran A, Rishabh A. What about others? Teju. Yes. Nilesh is saying A, very good. What about others? Kenil, very good. Malesh, very good. Yes, Imtiaz Khan, A, very good, Tamatar, A, Malesh, very good, Kenil, Bohati Badia, guys. So, I feel every one of you are giving the right answer and the answer for this is going to be 1.125. No doubt about that, this answer is correct. So, guys, we are, yes, Jabir, very good. So, we are going to see the ratio of UA to the UB. So, you know that when you will be writing here half into P as the load is same, and delta you can write it as, you know that, how you are writing the delta. Very good Irfan. It is going to be what? Yes, when you define the delta, 
delta is coming out to be 4 p l upon pi e d1 d2 so you will be putting the value 4 p l upon pi e d into 2 d and then you will be putting the ratio here 1 by 2 into p into 4 p l upon pi e you know that this is 1.5 times of diameter ka square this ratio will be coming out to be 1.125 so a is the right answer very good guys you guys have done it nicely so abhinav sir is also in the comment section so just make the heart for him uh, welcome him okay teju very good kalyan very good wonderful jabir so all of you have done it now moving to question number 32 guys this question is using the concept of thermal stresses. I am moving from easy to ask difficult. Every question is not difficult. We are starting from easy to difficult because in gate also we have some mixture of questions. But you would be having all the different types of question. Yes. Wonderful guys. So now this is from thermal stresses. Solve this question guys. I am waiting for your answer. Yes. So Kiran is saying C, Nilesh is saying C. Very good. 136.275, you are giving the answer. What about others? Yes. And guys, do like and share the session so that others can also join it. Very good, Teju. Great. Kalyan, Imtiaz. I feel Malesh, Shrut. Very good. So, all of you are giving the answer to be C for this. You know, this is the case when we have both end of the wire to be fixed. And you know, for this case, the expression for thermal stresses is E alpha delta T. I feel you are aware that it is for this prismatic case, it is independent of the area and diameter. So, E alpha delta T, you know, it is given what is alpha. It is given what is sigma. It is also mentioned what is E. So, you need to find out the delta T, my dear. So, sigma thermal, you would be considering this stress to be 210. Then E is given as, uh, what is E? Uh, alpha is 23 into 10 to the power minus 6. E is 67,000 and delta T. You would be getting delta T to be 136.3 degrees Celsius. So, answer for this is going to be C. That's really great. Very good, guys. You guys are doing very nicely. Moving to the next question, question number 33. Now, this is a good question. And here, this is from bars in parallel. So, let us see how many of you are able to do that. Okay. So, this is from bars in parallel with a thermal case. I am covering the question from all the topics. We have question from bending, torsion, principal stresses, SFD, BMD, deflection, even from testing of properties, every topic is covered. Theory of failure, I am not covering here because that is not for civil peoples that I will be covering in machine design for mechanical specifically. Yes. And guys, today after doing these 15 to 17 question in class, I would be giving you 15 questions as homework and their solutions would be provided to you tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Kiran, Kenil, Imtiaz, Tamatar, Pudina, Kalyan, Malesh, Shrut, Teju, Nilesh. What would be the answer for this one? This is a very good question. You are having actually a steel road inside a copper tube. So, this is copper, this is steel. Yes. And what examiner is saying? He is saying completely encloses the steel road. Dimensions are given. 
दे आर आस्किंग द स्ट्रेस इज इंड्यूज इन द स्टील रोड सो गाइस जस्ट ट्राई दिस यू नो फॉर दिस केस यू कैन राइट लोड ऑफ स्टील विल बी इक्वल्स टू लोड ऑफ कॉपर सो यू कैन राइट सिग्मा एस ए एस सिग्मा सी ए सी दिस इज वन इक्वेशन यू आर गोइंग टू यूज यस एंड देन यू कैन ऑल्सो इक्वेट द डेल्टा सो यू कैन इक्वेट द स्ट्रेन ऑल्सो यू कैन राइट सिग्मा अपॉन यस दैट इज सिग्मा अपॉन ई रेशियो विल बी सेम सिग्मा सी अपॉन ई सी यूज दीज टू इक्वेशन एंड यू विल गेट द आंसर ओके आई एम मेकिंग इट एम एस क्यू कैन यू ऑल्सो फाइंड आउट द स्ट्रेस इन कोपर एंड स्ट्रेस इन स्टील बोथ इफ आई मेक इट एम एस क्यू एंड आई आस्क यू दैट यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट द स्ट्रेस इन कोपर एंड स्टील बोथ देन लेट एस सी हाउ मेन यू गिव द राइट आंसर कल्याण एंड केनिल हैव सेट द आंसर टू बी फिफ्टी फाइव ओके इज इट टेंसाइल किरण वेरी गुड टेंसाइल ओके प्लस मीन्स टेंसाइल नेगेटिव फॉर कंप्रेसिव If nothing is mentioned, you will be assuming that. Yes. So Kiran, Kenil, Kalyan, very good. Imtiaz, Imtiaz. Yes, guys. Utkarsh, Teju, Shrut. मलेश यस आई एम वेटिंग फॉर यूर आंसर गाइस वेरी गुड वंडरफुल वंडरफुल गाइस वेरी गुड वेरी गुड टमाटर नाइस मलेश वेरी गुड तेजू यू हैव डन इट नाइसली गुड सो गाइस योर आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी फिफ्टी फाइव If I am asking, if I am asking for what stress developed in the steel road, so when you will be asking for sigma steel, the answer no doubt is coming out to be plus fifty five newton per mm square. And when you will be finding out sigma for copper in the same way, you will be getting minus forty four newton per mm square. So guys, if it is M S Q and he is asking for both. then b and c are going to be the right answer okay so very good kenil very good kiran very good malesh tomatoer very good wonderful guys so let us move to the next question we have done uh, three questions for today next question is this question number 34 this is from elastic constants let us see how many of you give the right answer for this this is from elastic constant a 16 mm diameter bar elongates by 0.04% Under a tensile force, they have given you the load value, diameter value. They have given you the uh, longitudinal strain. They have also given you the lateral strain, and they have also mentioned all these data. And they are asking about Young's modulus, Poisson ratio, and shear modulus. It is M S Q. So you can see in my session, I have involved M S Qs also. There would be at least three to four M S Qs. So guys, N A T, M S Qs, M C Qs, all are there. so it is for your better practice to give you the complete feel of gate examination so just like and share the session guys so that other student can also join here solve it guys solve it solve it guys yes i am giving you hint that delta is pl upon ae they are giving you uh, that is elongates by 0.04% so elongates by 0.04% means delta l by l into 100 that is 0.04 okay you can use this to find out young's modulus then you know poisson ratio is epsilon lateral by epsilon longitudinal and epsilon lateral is delta d by d epsilon longitudinal is delta l by l so my dear you already are given delta d by d into 100 that is already mentioned to you 0.01 use the values get the poisson ratio once you will get the poisson ratio you can find out 
what is g because the relation is e is 2g into 1 plus mu so first you need to use this formula and with this formula you can find out the value of young's modulus after getting the young's modulus you can find out the poison ratio from air after getting that apply this and get the value of g very good okay so kalyan is saying c is wrong rest all are correct okay fine pudina is saying bd very good kenil bd pudina bd kiran bd ayush very good imtiaz bd very good very good utkarsh kiran bahut hi badhiya kiran i feel your g value is not correct just try it again malesh very good b and d shrut very good b and d kalyan teju bahut hi badhiya guys you guys are doing really nice so the answer for this question is going to be b and d because first of all if you are going to see this delta upon l you know that into 100 value is known to us you can write it as p this is pl upon a so p upon a you can write it into 100 and that is given to us 0 0.04 with this you will be getting e to be equals to 199 gpa then mu can be written as delta d by d upon delta l upon l this is going to be 1 upon 4 the answer is 0 0.25 once you get this my dear you can apply this formula e is equals to 2g into 1 plus mu this will give you g to be 80 gpa so guys this is how the answer would be done and you would be getting the answer for this and the answer is b and d this was a msq now moving to one mcq question number 35 means fifth question for this class this is a wonderful question a new type of question which have never been asked in gate so you can try this they are asking about the poison ratio they are asking about the poison ratio try to solve it wonderful guys try to solve it so kiran teju kalyan shrut malesh utkarsh kenil kalyan imtiaz teju shrut try to solve this question try to solve this question guys Very good. Aditya is saying 2 by 7. Aditya is saying 2 by 7. Wonderful, Aditya. Rishabh, very good. Kiran, Utkarsh. Dear Utkarsh, do you feel here E is required? I don't feel so. Don't you know the expression for volumetric strain is? PD by 4 TE into 5 minus 4 mu for circumferential stress, sorry, strain PD by 4 TE 1 minus 2 mu. Yes or no? When you will be taking their ratios, when you will be taking their ratios, you would be getting the ratio of volumetric strain by circumferential strain. It is already given to you as 9 by 4. Equating this with this ratio, you would be getting 5 minus 4 mu, 1 minus 2 mu. You would be getting the value of mu and mu would be coming out to be 2 by 7. I feel everyone is getting this. How you find this question? Is it a good one or not? And my dear, this is more related to the gate type question. So as I said, now it is not important that how difficult questions you are doing. Now this matters how you are preparing for the gate level of question and this type of question are favorite of the gate okay very good kalyan imtiaz so we are moving further to the next question and next question will be question number 36 once again from the thin pressure vessels as i already told you i am covering all the types okay so just to solve this question guys a thin cylindrical shell diameter 200 mm thickness 
टी इज सब्जेक्टेड टू इंटरनल प्रेशर ऑफ टू न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेयर एफिशियंसी ऑफ द ज्वाइंट इज सेवेंटी परसेंट द मैक्सिम अलाउेबल स्ट्रेस इज हंड्रेड एम पी ए वॉट इज द थिकनेस इन एम एम सो गाइज जस्ट ट्राई टू सोल्व दिस क्वेश्चन ट्राई टू सोल्व दिस क्वेश्चन वंडरफुल 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 आयुष आदित्य किरण वंडरफुल तो यू नो दैट वॉट यू नीड टू डू यू नीड टू राइट द स्ट्रेस दैट इज पी आर बाई टी डिवाइडेड एफिशियंसी ओके इट इज गिवन टू यू ऑलरेडी दैट इज लेस देन इक्वल्स टू सिग्मा अलाउेबल यू वुड बी गेटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ टी टू बी मोर देन इक्वल्स टू टू पॉइंट एट सिक्स एम एम so guys the answer for this is going to be c so really nice teju ayush kalyan aditya kiran imtiaz okay imtiaz have not done it malesh very good so guys with this we have completed six question and don't worry there would be a mixture some very difficult some very easy some so it it should be uh, similar to the gate i have msq nat mcq and not only for the 15 classroom question the next question which you are getting as a homework as a dpp that will also be having all the types of question very good imtiaz so moving further to the question number 37 now we are reaching to sfd bmd if you remember this type of case we have discussed in many classes of youtube as well as other courses if you have attended this is a cantilever beam cantilever beam you need to find out the ratio of bending moment at a and bending moment at c so let us see how many of you are able to do this question this is a nice question wonderful question seventh question for today ha rajesh you can attend uh, you can apply the formula in terms of diameter also in terms of radius also is it clear kiran is saying the answer to be a okay what about others aditya is saying plus 2 means a only what about others Teju is saying two, Kenil is saying two, Ayush is saying two. Very good. Kalyan is saying two. Imtiaz is saying two. Very good. Malesh is saying two. Very good. Mani, very good. Mani is saying A. Very good. Shrut, very good. so guys you guys are really doing very nicely so if you are going to perform like that you are going to do wonders in the exam don't worry about that okay in exam you are going to perform very nice because these are the type of question you are going to get in exam also so my dear you must have seen whenever we are going to plot the bending moment diagram for this first of all you know that as the total upward and downward load is equal so their support reaction va will be equals to 0 and if you want to find out bending moment we can normally also find out but i am showing you the bending moment diagram also so you must have seen bending moment diagram is okay i will be making it for you don't worry first of all let us see what is the bending moment so when you are going to find out bending moment at c you can take this entire triangle load at its centroid so you can take w into l at its centroid means 2l by 3 from the centroid so you can see this is going to be this is going to be sagging type if you take a section here this is a sagging type of moment so i can write bending moment at c to be equals to w into l into 2l by 3 so it is 2 w l square by 3 okay so if you have this triangle its centroid at this centroid this area you can assume and that will be once again w into l and that is acting at a distance of l by 3 from here 
So if you want to find out at A, it would be coming because of this and this both. Why? Whenever we were looking at the C, bending moment is defined as, yes, yes, yes. So bending moment is defined as the bending moment at a section is defined as the algebraic sum of all the moment either to the left or to the right hand side of the section. So when we calculate it at C, we have taken from right hand side. Here also we are going to see from the right hand side. So you can write this time bending moment at A will be equals to. I feel uh, when you will be calculating it, how you will be doing it. This is okay. This was WL by 2. So I feel 2 and 2 will get cancel out and you will be having WL square by 3. So here also you will be writing WL by 2 is the area of triangle and this area of triangle will be acting at centroid. So distance will be this L plus this 2L by 3. So this is going to be L plus 2L by 3 and minus of WL by 2 that would be acting at a distance of L by 3 that will be causing hogging that would be causing sagging. So I would be writing into this is at L by 3. When you will be solving it, you will be getting here 2 WL square by 3. This is already WL square by 3. So if you are going to take the ratio, my dear, very good kennel, very good kennel, sorry for the mistake, you would be finding out MA by MC. It is 2 WL square by 3 divided by WL square by 3. The answer would be coming out to be plus 2. Please tell me guys, everybody got it or not? Yes. Kenil, ha, bilkul, bilkul, by struggle life, you are correct. Okay. Great, great, great. So, we are moving further. Hello, Bisakha. Yes. So, let us move further. Moving to question number 38. This is once again, my dear MSQ. So, answer it properly by looking at the MSQ, you need to see more than one option may be correct. Just try to solve it now. Bisakha, Bishek, Struggle, Kenil, Kalyan, Utkarsh, Aditya, yes, Teju, Mani, solve this question guys. So here we need to find out what? Resisting moment at A or bending moment at A, you can say. Bending moment at B, bending moment at B. So, at B and at A, you need to find out the bending moment. Okay, Bisakha, you are new to this session. So, are you preparing for gate 2023? Because this session is related to gate 2023 preparation. Strength of material subject is going on for civil mechanical axi students. Kenil BD, Teju Singh AD, Abhishek AD, Imtiaz A, okay. Aditya is saying A and D, okay, fine. Okay, you are saying 300 means B and D, Aditya. Abhishek pin joint zero moment hoga, okay, struggle life is saying D. Okay, Imtiaz is saying A, Kalyan is saying D, right and A. Okay, AD, Bisaka is saying. Resistance moments, Utkarsh means whatever the bending moment or resistant moment means, it is going to be resistance at A because it is a support. Support always provides some kind of resistance. Okay, Mani is saying AD, Kenil is saying BD. Okay, my dear, Rishabh Pant AD, Sintu Kumar BD. So guys, first of all, this is the case of compound beam. Whenever two things are joined in series, we call it as compound. Like two bars are joined in series, compound bar. Two beams are joined in series, compound beam. Two shafts are joined in series, compound shaft. And whenever things are in parallel, it is said to be composite. So my dear, it is a compound beam. So in case of compound beam, how we are going to make it? We are going to divide it into two parts. Okay. We are going to divide it into two parts. This was point B. This is point A. And here you have this 200 kg. Okay. Now, my dear, you know this W 100 kg is also acting here. So, my dear, because of this 100 kg, there will be a tendency of this beam to go down. So, to stop it from going, obviously, the cantilever beam will be providing some resistance here. 
that is called as RB. The same resistance will be coming here as RB. Now my dear you can see this is 1 meter, this is 1 meter. So by symmetry you can find out RC and RB. If this is 100 kg, this will be 50 kg and this will also be 50 kg. And if this is 50 kg, if this is 50 kg, you can find out the bending moment at A. So bending moment at A is also said to be resistance moment. Why it is? Because it is provided by the support. So when you will be finding out MA, you know that this, this RB is creating anti-clockwise. This two, sorry, RB is creating clockwise, 200 is creating clockwise. So as a result, it would be anti-clockwise. So you can write MA is RB that is 50 into 2. Then it is plus 200 into 1. Answer is 300. So my dear, first of all, we got this answer 300. So this is correct. It means B option is correct. Now my dear, whenever the beams are joined in series, you know, this is the hinge point. And if you will be saying this internal hinge at this bending moment is going to be zero. That's why this point is said to be point of contra flexor. If you have any doubt in this, you can also find out like RC is 50. This is 50. So 50 into 200 into 1. The net moment at B would be coming out to be zero. Whether you calculate from right hand side or from the left hand side. So my dear majority of you have already given the right answer. So bending moment at B is 0, at A is 300. So wonderful guys, you guys are going very nicely. Moving to the next question. Once again from SFD, BMD. Very good. Teju, Shrut, Kalyan, Utkarsh, Aditya, Malesh, Sintu, Mani. Those who have given the right answer. Moving to question number 39 guys. Definitely Utkarsh, uh, I can draw it, but uh, let us draw it in the last because this is a particular request from your side. So after 15th question, I will do that. Okay. For you only. Okay. On special request. Kiran is saying AC, you can see once again MSQ guys. So I am taking care of your complete preparation. All types of questions are there. Kiran is saying AC, Kenil is saying AC, Aditya AC, Sintu AC, Struggle Life AC, Baud Badia, yes. What about others? I am waiting for others. Shrut, what do you say? Teju, what do you say? Mani, what do you say? Malesh is saying AC, Imtiaz C. This is MCQ, MSQ, Imtiaz, two options may be correct, three options may be correct. Kalyan is saying AC. Ayush is saying AC. Bahut badia. Very good Ayush. So guys, first of all, you can see in the shear force diagram, at D also there is a jump, at A also there is a jump. So definitely there are chances that we would be having two support. So that is correct. Then my dear, you can see the bending moment diagram is starting like this. There is no jump at A. If it would be a fixed support, there must be a jump at A because you know fixed support give the moment reaction. So that is why B is wrong. Then at C, there is a jump from 1000 to 3000. Means there is a jump of 2000. 2000 Newton meter ka jump means a couple is acting at C. Then my dear UDL is confined to portion BC end. So my dear if in BC end you can see the SFD. SFD, SFD is a horizontal line. It means there is no load between B and D. So it means D is also wrong. So option A and C are the right answer. I feel all of you are understanding it properly. Nay, nay, dear, supports are always at the ends. Support are never coming in between. Okay. So supports are coming on the ends. That's why we are calling them supports. If they are coming inside, they are said to be internal roller, internal hinge. Okay. 
This is the tenth question for today. This is very easy question from bending. Let us see how many of you are able to do this. The intention of taking this question is three times gate have asked this type of question. So maybe this year also you get the similar question. So for that intention, I have taken care of this in the session. So guys, just do like and share the session. We are still left with five more question. And I have one surprise question also for you. As usual, you know, I always try to do one, two more questions only. And even for homework, you are going to get uh, more than 15. Means one extra question in homework also you are going to get. Yes, solve it guys. Solve it guys. Okay, Kiran have said the answer to be 200. What about others? Mani, Aditya, Utkarsh, Imtiaz, Shrut, Ayush, Kalyan, Imtiaz, Struggle Life. Wonderful guys. Manas, I was waiting for you. Where were you? Kenil, very good. Yes, Mani. Sintu, very good. Ayush, very good. Shrut, very good. Wonderful guys. Teju, very good. So, dear, you know that Sigma B by Y, E by R. So, when you are going to find out the bending stresses, it will be E Y upon R. They are saying we are having a steel flat 2 mm thick is bent around a drum. We have a drum. Around this, you are going to bend a wire like this. So, when the wire is getting bent about this drum, obviously, my dear, you would be having some tensile stresses here and some compressive stresses here. So, my dear, when you are going to find out, there would be some neutral fiber and the distance from the neutral fiber is going to be the radius of the wire. So, my dear, if you are going to find out bending stresses, Young's modulus is 200 kilo newton per mm square then we are going to have 2 mm thick so he is saying this thickness is 2 mm so thickness 2 mm means y is going to be 1 mm divided by radius is diameter is 2 meter means radius is 1 meter so answer would be 200 newton per mm square so 200 is correct okay wonderful guys uh, 40 questions are over Moving to question number 41, the 11th for today. Once again from the bending. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. So, Kalyan is under trauma. How you got this? Yes, very good Teju. Teju have uh, applied ET by D plus T. The exact formula. Uh, which we are using for belt drives it was okay fine what about others just try to solve it question number 11 for this two days class triangular is the cross section you need to find out the bending stress developed here at the top fiber you know whenever bending stress distributions are made how they are yes you need to find out the bending stress at the top fiber. Teju, Kalyan, Kenil, Mani, Abhishek, Imtiaz, Aditya, Manas, Teju, Struggle Life, Jabir, okay. So, Jabir is saying the answer to be A.
वट अबाउट अदर्स तेजू दे आर आस्किंग अबाउट बेंडिंग स्ट्रेसिस नोट शीयर स्ट्रेसिस Your concept will be helping you in the next question. Okay, this is from bending stress only. So there is a lot of confusion between the student. Very good, sin to Ranjit. Some are saying A, some are saying B. So there is a lot of confusion between the students. So guys, first of all, if we have a triangular cross section, if this is the neutral axis, you know that the distance of the top fiber is. 2h by 3 and distance of the bottom fiber is h by 3 you also know that whenever we are finding out the stresses at one side they will be compressive other side they will be tensile they are giving us at the base it is tensile you can write bending stress is directly proportional to y if you remember i told you the bending stress in the top fiber to the bending stress in the bottom fiber is equals to y top by y bottom so my dear yes if they are saying plus 20 you need to put a minus sign also here so at the bottom the distance is h by 3 at the top the distance is 2h by 3 minus sign will be coming at top you need to find out at bottom it is plus 20 so my dear h by 3 h by 3 will cancel out and you would be getting sigma b at top fibers to be it is going to be what this is minus 2 into 20 is minus 40 mpa the answer will be b for this very good aditya very good shruth teju kenil mani bahut hi shandar kiran so we are still left with four more question guys okay four officially and one to two unofficially this is from shear stresses of beams okay shri ram meena is saying sir jab hum cantilever on both the support two support distance between uh, then is d and a distance on either side okay 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 uh, shri ram actually there are three cases for that just after the class after the 15 question i will tell you one question from utkarsh one from you we will take okay don't worry okay so this is the question question number 42 yes abhishek you have answered it first correct so shri ram be in class at the end i will help you i will tell you all the three cases for this loading don't worry uh you are actually asking about the overhanging beam of the case with udl okay the same i feel you are talking about don't worry we will see that so all this question guys they are asking about once again the triangular section shear stress distribution this is the neutral axis solve it guys this type of bending stress distribution will come sorry shear stress distribution will come this is shear stress distribution rishab goyal is saying 1.5 kiran is saying 1.125 Aditya is saying 0.5, Kenil is saying 1 by 2, Teju is 1.125. This is the quality question. You can see everyone is giving different answer. Jabir is saying 1.125. Very good. Wonderful guys. So they are asking you that what is the ratio of tau 2 by tau 1, where tau 1 is at mid span and tau 2 at neutral axis. so my dear very good ranjit very good sintu kalyan i am really happy to see your performance guys you guys are doing nicely but yes there are some confusion between some of the student so i am telling you for this case when you find out at neutral axis it comes out to be 4 by 3 tau average and when you are going to find out at the center means tau maximum that will be 3 by 2 tau average 
So if you are going to see the CSS distribution, you would be having this value which is maximum as 3 by 2 tau average and this value is 4 by 3 tau average and you need to take the ratio of tau 2 by tau 1. So tau 2 by tau 1 means you need to take this ratio. It is going to be what? Maximum what is that? It is tau 1 shear stress at h by 2. So, tau maximum by neutral axis. Tau maximum by neutral axis. So, when you will be finding out what you will be getting, I feel 1.125 would be the right answer. Is it? Hatha Sri Ram, do not worry. Do not worry. <laughs> Actually, there are three cases for that. That is why you are getting confused. Do not worry, we will be discussing that. So, answer for this is going to be 1.125. I feel everyone is fine for that. So, let us move further. Is there any doubt with anyone? Moving to next question. Question number 43 means 13th question for today. 13th question for today. Solve it guys, solve it. A cantilever of length L fixed at end A is propped at B. So, there is a cantilever beam which is propped at B. And he is asking that W is acting at the center. This is W. And what is the propped reaction? Vineet, good evening, bye. So, today you are getting late, Vineet. Yes. So guys, you know that if this is point A, this is point B, this is point C and you need to find out the probe reaction at B and moment reaction at A. You know you would be using one thing, this support reaction is RA, this support reaction is RC. So you would be saying RA plus RC is equal to W, equation number 1. Second equation will be deflection at A is equal to 0. And you know, we will be dividing it into two parts. One case is this and other case is this. And you would be saying deflection at A, deflection at A is equal to Deflection at A because of W plus deflection at A because of RA. That you need to put equals to 0. This would be your equation number 2. Solving 1 and 2, you can find out RA, RC. After that, you can find out the bending moment reaction. This is a very good question. Once again, MSQ more than 1 may be correct. Okay, no issues, Vineet. Don't worry. So, when you will be having the case number 1, I am helping you, y at a will be written as, this is deflection at b, this is because of w, plus theta at b into ab, and deflection at a because of rb will be plus rb l cube upon 3 ei. This you can also write it is yb will be minus w okay l by 2 cube upon 3 ei plus theta b would be minus w l by 2 square upon 2 ei into l by 2 equating these two summation will zero will give you the value of rb I have given you the hint, now you need to solve it. I feel Manas have given the answer as 5 by 16. Sri Ram, uh, we would be there for 10 more minutes, I feel. Okay, 10 more minutes. <laughs> Vineet, I have shared for machine design. So, theory of machines also I will share. Okay, have you seen the machine design notes? So, similar uh, way I am going to share for the tom also. Okay. Yes. So, 5w by 16 minus is saying, Abhishek also have given the answer. Very good. 
wonderful guys fine 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 so abhishek and manas have given the answer to be 5w by 16 but this is msq please check about the moment also please check about the moment also so 5w by 16 is correct abhishek uh, you can join the telegram channel mechanical by dheeraj sardana there you will find all the notes available so b is correct no doubt about that okay now if you will check the support reaction you will get c also will be correct very good imtiaz so b and c are going to be the answer for this i feel b everybody know now you need to find out the moment reaction moment at c this would be coming because of ra so plus ra into l minus w into l by 2 when you will be solving this you will get 3 wl by 16 so b and c are going to be the right answer for this shri ram telegram link is mechanical by dheeraj sardana when you will search by this name you will directly reach to that telegram channel mechanical by dheeraj sardana okay fine 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 guys so we are moving further i feel everybody got it so b and c are the right answer for this very good kenil abhishek actually he is asking for different notes uh, like hand written by my side okay note by some student side okay so guys this is a extra question extra question this is not counted in the number because it is very simple so i am taking this question as extra the angle between the opposite faces of diamond pyramid in wickers test so my dear this question i am telling you because this type of question sometime are been asked from testing of materials okay that is uh, only for mechanical this question is not for civil that's why i have not given any number to this and the answer would be abhishek have already given C Kiran have already given, Utkarsh have already given, Jabir have already given. The answer is C for this. So this question is not counted. Don't worry. Moving to the next question. Now this is question number forty-four, the second last question. Second last question officially for this session. You need to find out shear strain developed. Very good, Shrut, Kalyan, Navin, Sintu. yes kenil definitely i can share i already told you whatever what kind of help whatever you require from my side you can share on my telegram whatsapp if require you can call me also okay i always i am always there for you guys great abhishek solve this question guys now they have given you l by d ratio for the shaft this is the Question from pure torsion, angular twist is zero point one. You already know that if we have a shaft like this, and you apply some torque onto this, this end is fixed. And if we consider any particular radial fiber like this, then because of torque, this fiber may twist. like this then this angle is said to be phi which is shear strain and this angle is said to be theta l is the length r is the radius so i feel you know l into phi is r into theta so you need to find out phi because this is the shear strain it is r theta by l okay you are given the ratio of l by d l by d can be written as l by 2r theta value is given to you put the values get the answer very good very good guys bahut hi badhiya shandar no issue vinith some days it happens don't worry about that sometime it happens so abhishek is saying answer to be b 
जाबिर बी सिंटू बी इम्तियाज बी ऋषभ सी तेजू बी केनिल बी अभिषेक बी सो गाइज द आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी बी बिकॉज वेन यू वेन एवर यू विल बी पुटिंग द वैल्यू गामा इज इक्वल टू आर बाई एल यू नो एल बाई डी इज फिफ्टी एंड थीटा इज जीरो पॉइंट वन रेडियन डिवाइडेड बाय वेन यू विल बी पुटिंग एल बाई आर इट वुड बी कमिंग आउट टू बी हंड्रेड सो आंसर वुड बी वन इंटू टेन टू दावर माइनस थ्री मूविंग टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन गाइस दिस इज फ्रॉम सुपोर्ट रिएक्शन कैलकुलेशन वेरी गुड कल्याण श्रुत नवीन बहुत ही शानदार गाइस सो दिस इज द फोर्टी फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन फॉर टू डे ऑफिशियली एंड यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट द सुपोर्ट रिएक्शन एट बी सो लेट अस सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गिव द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन this type of question you may get in gate because gate is uh, loving the concept of support reaction calculation solve this guys yes 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 everybody solve this and guys to get the rest question just join my telegram channel mechanical by dheeraj sardana there you would be getting the other questions of the same uh, uh, pdf as you know 15 question we are doing in class 15 question we are giving as homework questions you will be getting today only answer and solution you would be getting tomorrow very good teju shrut kiran mani imtiaz sintu kalyan so all of you are saying the answer to be c so my dear yes the answer is c because if i divide the loading into two parts if i divide the loading into two parts it is one is udl one is udl and one is uvl this udl is having an intensity of w kilo newton per meter this is also having an intensity of w kilo newton per meter this is actually w1 and this w is w2 minus w1 l is the length l is the length so my dear now if we are going to solve it because of this ra and rb are coming out to be wl by 2 so here w is w1 so w1 l by 2 here my dear if you will find out ra was coming out to be w l by 6 and rb was coming out to be w l by 3 but here w is w2 minus w1 so w2 minus w1 l by 3 so this is because of udl this is because of uvl when you will combine it you will be getting this loading condition so you need to add as per the principle of superposition you can add both the rb values so rb will be coming out to be w1 l by 2 plus w2 minus w1 by 3 into l the answer will be coming out to be c so the answer will be for this one as w1 l by 6 plus w2 l by 3 c is going to be the right answer so guys you guys have really done nicely so just like and share the session before we leave okay utkarsh by shortcut also you can go for for that you need to do one thing that you can find out the total load find out the centroid and after that you can do that but that would be more lengthier better than that go by this only so if you want i am having one to two extra question uh let us say this one okay uh, sorry this one okay so you can see i have a number of questions for you okay the fine uh, if you see this type of question uh, this is once again from torsion the question is a copper shaft of diameter d is subjected to torque t such that the maximum shear stress developed in the copper shaft is 50 now the copper shaft is replaced by the steel shaft g of s is 2 times g of copper find out the stress developed in the steel shaft this is the last question for today's session this is bonus question bonus question after that i will show you the schedule of this series so that if you want to attend other classes you can
इम्पल्स एक्चुअली वो वट एवर आई हैव डन दैट आई हैव सोल्ड इट अदरवाइज बाई शॉर्ट कट यू विल बी गोइंग ऑन आई हैव जस्ट ट्राइड इट बाई प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सुपर पोजिशन अदरवाइज वट एवर द वैल्यूज आई हैव गिवन विदाउट गोइंग फॉर दैट ऑल्सो डायरेक्टली यू कैन एड दैम दैट इज द शॉर्ट कट ओनली केनिल इज सेइंग हंड्रेड तेजु इज सेइंग हंड्रेड दैट्स वाई आई एम गिविंग यू दिस बोनस क्वेश्चन सो इम्पल्स क्लास इज हेयर यू सी द रियल शॉर्टकट ओके very good jt saying 50 <laughs> okay okay so my dear whenever you are going for the stress shear stress you are writing it as t by zp so my dear if i ask you that i am having this copper bar or copper shaft and i am saying i am applying p force here and if i ask you a is the area can you tell me what would be the stress in this bar yes impulse i am asking particularly from you also what would be the stress in this bar if it is made up of copper p is the load a is the area what would be the stress stress in this bar if this bar is made up of copper tell me that can i say it is p by a can i say this is p by a can i say this is p by a and if yes if yes i am replacing it by a steel bar now this bar is made up of steel i am applying the same force some area is there the same area same load then tell me now the stress in this bar you said sir stress in copper will be p by a so stress in steel will also be p by a so my dear answer here will also be 50 stress is independent of material strength depend on the material if you ask me here the strength obviously strength of steel would be better strength of steel would be more but stresses are always defined as load but a area or load by section modulus like that so that is not depending on the material strength will be depending on the material is it clear so impulse this is the real shortcut which will help you okay otherwise don't run from the calculation in gate you are getting 2.5 minutes for those types of calculation so don't worry about that great so i am giving you one guarantee if you would be there with me in the classes i am going to take som tom and machine design in this series okay in this series and other than that on sunday we are coming with the mock test of mechanical also be ready for those session i am telling you that every session you will be you would be getting something new that will help you in the gate examination so do like the session share the session with your friends we are having these questions for your homework you can see the number is more than 15 so i will be sharing you these question for your homework and after these questions after solving these questions this is the schedule for mechanical and civil for this series like first of all mechanical formula formula test which is started yesterday by sonu sir have taken thermo on 20th of december i will be taking theory of machines in that okay and before that joshi sir would be taking fm chandra sir would be taking hmt and this is the entire schedule md and som once again we will be coming for this this is the schedule for mechanical and my dear this is for 500 series today this session was there we have completed this after that once again we will be meeting for theory of machines on 22nd and 23rd of december this is the entire schedule for md we would be meeting at 31st of december हाँ बिल्कुल अब आप लोगों का डाउट ले रहा हूं मैं दो स्टूडेंट्स का दिस इज द शेड्यूल ऑफ सिविल टुमारो यू हैव एनवायरनमेंट क्लास एंड दैट वुड बी टेकन बाय रिचा मैम सो बी रेडी फॉर दैट ऑल द सिविल स्टूडेंट्स ओके यस 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 विनीत वी वुड बी हैविंग ऑन बोर्ड द प्लेटफॉर्म बट फॉर दिस संडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव ऑन द यूट्यूब ओके नाउ लेट एस सी यूर डाउट दिस इज वन मोर शेड्यूल फॉर सिविल पीपल्स which is going on tuesday thursday and saturday for that uh, you would be having fluid mechanics on 15th of december 
and so on the schedule will go on you can see that dear tau is stress note the strength okay tau is stress note the strength now my dear let us see your doubts i am coming on to that okay so now i am coming on to that doubts shri ram meena you were asking about this question this is the udl this is a this is a this is l so i am telling you when you will be going for the calculations sometime you have seen this bending moment diagram this is when l is equals to 2a okay and sometime you have seen the diagram to be like this like this so this is the case when l is equals to 2a okay for this case you would be getting this support reaction is let us say r a this support reaction is r b so this point is a b c and d so in this case when you will be having l is equals to 2a a would be coming out to be l by 2 so because of that symmetry you are getting this diagram but these you will be getting when l is equals to more than 2a l is equals to less than 2a for such cases you would be having this diagram so i feel this was the confusion of yours is it clear for everyone now now i am going to solve the doubt of tomato singh that is our beloved utkarsh is it clear shri ram or you want calculation also if you want calculation also great great so that was your doubt i got your doubt no issues now i will be telling you about the sft of one question which was once again asked by utkarsh so utkarsh Uh, just remind me the question if i forget i feel this i feel this question utkarsh you were saying okay let me show you the sfd for this you are having this as 200 kg and 100 kg you found out this support reaction as 50 okay so 50 here total is 300 so here we would be having 250 now you have to make shear force diagram so my dear you know the sign convention i am taking the sign convention to the left upward positive this is negative so you know to the right hand side if i take this section to the right hand side upward is negative so there will be a jump minus 50 then nothing then if you see the second section this section is valid from a to b second section is valid from b to c so to the right of hand side of this 50 upward 100 downward upward negative downward positive you would be having a jump here it is plus 50 it would be continued for this then you would be having this section to the right hand side downward is positive you would be having a jump of 200 and this would be the sfd is it clear uh shri ram he always mention the case he always mention the case so with this i am completing the session and i am leaving you here those who have not like and share the session do that especially tomato utkarsh okay so goodbye guys for this session thanks for joining and we would be meeting once again for theory of machine for machine design and on this sunday we have a session on mock test also be ready for that goodbye guys for this session thanks for joining goodbye good night